Hello everyone, I hope you're having a wonderful day. Uh, today I would like to show you how to make a travel brush like this. It has a cap, which is very useful because it will protect the bristles when you put it into a pencil case. And um, it's also very small, just the size of a regular ballpoint pen because we're going to be making this out of a ballpoint pen. So it will fit into any pencil case, a purse, uh, a pocket, if you have large ones. Um, we're going to make one that looks exactly the same. Uh, I bought this pen at a very cheap store. Um, it was less than a euro and it's uh, exactly the same so I know that it will work. Um, there are certain qualities that your pen needs in order to make it into a paintbrush very easily. Um, we're going over those uh, qualities in a bit, but I also bought this uh, Papermade Inkjoy pen, which is more like just any regular old ballpoint pen. It just looks like this. It does have a cap though, it's very important that your pen has a cap. And we're going to try to turn this into a paintbrush as well. Um, I think this kind of pen is the easiest to find. You might already have one at home, so that's why I want to try turning this into a paintbrush as well. Um, and of course, I have some paintbrushes. I just bought some smaller ones this time, because I already have a little bit larger paintbrush. Of course, it's not exactly very large, but it's a lot larger than the travel paintbrushes you have out there on the market by Windsor & Newton or uh, many other brands. They just have very, very tiny paint paintbrushes to take on the go, which is nice, but I mean, a little bit larger size can be useful. So I have these smaller ones. They're just very simple, cheap paintbrushes. Um, I bought, bought a pack for about a euro and they are qu quite sturdy, they have quite a bit of snap to them. So we're going to use these, we're go just going to use the top part. So yeah, I'm going to show you how I make one of these and I hope you will enjoy watching me and maybe try to make one for yourself. You're also going to need a saw of some kind. This one is especially meant for plastic and metal and um, it will do very well in cutting the pen down where I need it. Um, if you don't have a saw like this, a very sharp knife with small to teeth could work. Um, it might ruin your knife a little bit if it's not very sharp, so using a saw is a better option. But still it would work, so you can try. Maybe if your uh, pen is made out of soft plastic, it won't be much of a problem. This knife I have used to cut a pen before and it worked very well. Um, you can use some tape as well in order to get a very clean cut on the pen. I will show you that later. Uh, it's optional though, you don't really need it. And uh, I think that's it. It's a very simple DIY. Um, you're going to need to take off the top of your um, paintbrushes and um, sometimes the glue in there is just very weak and you can easily just pull it off, especially if it's cheap paintbrushes. But if you're using this for your favorite super nice um, watercolor brush, which I don't recommend you do, um, it might be more difficult. This one is still stuck on there. I might be able to just get it off if I wiggle it enough. Um, but if that doesn't work, you can also just cut it somewhere around here or saw through it. And you will. So the first thing that we're going to be looking at is your pen, uh, the type of pen it is. Of course, we chose a pen with a cap because you need the cap in order to protect the bristles and click pens don't work. Um, then you're going to look at how it closes. So this pen has a little plastic ridge right here and that plastic ridge makes it shut. So this little ring, we need to keep that on there because otherwise the pen won't close and we'll have to fix that problem and it will just be a mess. So we're keeping that on there. And 
Um, we're also going to look at how much it can come apart. Now this pen, uh, you can unscrew the top, the top part, and take this off. Uh, you can take also take the inside part off, but I don't think that's very useful in this case. You can take this out, which is nice, because you can just put that in another pen and use it. Don't be wasteful. <laughs> and then we have a little hole here, but that's a little bit too small. It's a bit small to fit uh, the side of a paintbrush in. Even if you clamp it down with a pair of pliers, it will still be very tight. So I'm going to saw a little piece off here because there's more room inside of this barrel. And that's what I used. Um, I did that for this pen as well. As you can see, this part is much shorter, but the plastic ring is still on there. So it's important that you look at how big the opening is and if the part is made out of plastic and if you can uh, saw it down if the middle barrel part is big enough to fit your paintbrush that's very important so so I forgot to mention um, how this pen closes and uh, how to look at for that so this pen um, I already cut it I'm sorry <laughs> but uh, it's still just the same thing um, because this one doesn't have a ring on it, but uh, the cap just gets a little bit tighter um, when it goes to the top. And um, this pen is quite a wide triangle shape. And when you push it in the cap, it just gets stuck there because this plastic is a tiny bit flexible. And that's how it gets stuck. So the next thing we are going to do is uh, cut the pens down. I already put a little piece of tape on there to get a nice clean cut. Um, you don't need to do this, I just like to do it in order to guide my hand, so to speak. Uh, I put it up quite high because I don't want to cut off too much. I can always cut off more, but I can't cut on pieces of pen back on there. It would be a bit difficult. So I'm going to cut them and then I'm going to come back to you. So I cut off both of these pens. Uh, now I'm going to sand down the top of it because they look a little bit messy. Um, you can use sandpaper or just uh, a nail file that isn't too fine, uh, not too fine of a grain. I sand it down both of these pens. I just used the nail file because I was too lazy to get some sandpaper. So um, <laughs> After that I filled them with something. Um, this one I filled with some beads because I thought it would look pretty and this one I filled with some silk clay. Um, this is to keep the little brushes from shooting into the pen and getting lost there. <laughs> um, you don't have to use silk clay. Silk clay is a clay that is air dries and it um, dries to kind of a rubbery texture. You don't really need to use that because um, you can just use any type of clay that doesn't uh, reactivate with water and will just come flowing out because you will be using these paintbrushes with some water. Um, when I cut this pen, I got a lot of blue ink of my, on my hands, so I'm sorry about that. It's too bad I can't use that ink anymore. <laughs> so uh, I didn't use beads in this one, obviously, because it wouldn't look pretty. You wouldn't be able to see it at all. So. I just uh, filled it up with silk clay and now I'm going to put these uh, little brushes in. I'm just going to use some hot glue to glue them in. Um, you can use another type of glue if you have the patience to wait for it to dry. Um, make sure that the brushes fit, that the caps fit over them before you glue them in. And if you have a paintbrush which um, is a little bit bigger and the end is a little bit too big to fit into your pen, you can always use some pliers or something else to clamp down the edges of this, make it a little bit smaller and then just, just put it in there and it will just get stuck on its own. That's how I put in this brush. And then you can use a little bit of glue for some extra support as well. 
So I'm going to glue them in now and then show you the final result. So this is the final result. Two travel paint brushes in different sizes with caps. I tried to sand down this part on this paintbrush a little bit because I don't quite like how big of a step this has. Um, but it didn't really work out, so I might have to figure out something else for that. And I also took off the logo with some nail polish remover, but it got rid of the shine right here. It's not as see-through as the other side. So I don't think that really matters because the way your paintbrushes look doesn't have much of an impact on what your artwork will look like. But just keep that in mind if you're going to try to get the logo off like I did. Uh, the cap fits on nicely on both of them. I think I'm going to get a lot of use out of these. And I really like them. So I hope you do too. I hope you enjoyed watching this little tutorial on making travel brushes out of full point pens. Uh, this is my first time making a tutorial, but I really enjoyed it. And I hope you did too. Um, if you have any questions, please leave them down below in the comments. And if you have any tips and tricks for me to help improve my videos, um, I would really appreciate it if you would leave those in a comment as well. Uh, so thank you very much, and uh, hopefully I will see you next time.